show social experiment called Judgment Day. Women judged other women really, really harshly, but the women that were judging didn't have any idea that they were going to come face to face with the women that they were actually judging. Um, it's gotten very heated on the stage. You know, the audience has a lot to say. Before the break, I was like, audience, you guys went away, and you guys are like, yeah! So uh, now is your time. Uh, Chance, who, who wants to say something first? My name is Robert Cameron, and I just want to say something as a man's point of view is that to me, women are gorgeous, no matter who they are, what they are, how they look. Or the beauty is what's in, inside, not outside. Outside is all efficient. Inside is what counts. Thank you. Who else? Let's say something. Stand on up. I just want to say that I'm shocked by this, and I can actually like relate to it with the girls that are saying stuff about these girls. I'm only 19, and I know how being judged is. I was very, very heavy after I lost my little brother in 2001, and I dealt with that with food. I didn't know what to do at that age. I was only 12 years old. I didn't know how to handle that. And people would judge me when I went to school, call me fat. I was chubby, I didn't know what to do. So when I got the age of 18, I decided to go to plastic surgery. I've had liposuction, I had really big breasts, I had a breast reduction at 16 because people would just keep saying comments and it get, I always told myself don't let it get to me, but after a while it actually gets to you and then I sit and want like why did I do that? Like. As long as I know who I am and people like me, so I shouldn't mm -hmm. change myself. But And I'm really young, and I sort of regret the stuff that I did, the surgeries I had. But I don't know. I just feel bad for these girls over here because I went through what they've been through. And what do you guys feel? Um, Marie, I want to ask you, because she was a baby. You know, She says she was 12 years old and got surgery at 16 years old from people saying negative things to her. Liposuction, you're not even 18 years, you're 18 years old now? 19, you had liposuction before you were like twice. even past your, twice. Yes. Not even out of your teen years, breast reduction, all these things because people were teasing you. People mm -hmm. were saying you weren't good enough. People were judging you. Mm -hmm. She's a child, she's still a child. She's 19 years old. Does it make you second, you know, give second thoughts? To the judgment? I absolutely would never judge somebody just because they have big breasts. I wouldn't judge someone, you know, especially a child. I have a 10 year old daughter, and, you know, I would never, ever judge someone like that. My thing is, I think, just be tasteful with it. Just be tasteful with it, you know? But that's, do you know? That's but, my thing. But Marie, you're sitting here, mm -hmm. you're not skinny, okay? I'm not skinny, you're not I know skinny that. at all. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people, I'm not saying it's bad, you guys, because you know what I stand for, so I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just being truthful, okay? And not truthful in an ugly, judgmental way, but stating the truth of what I know the audience at home is thinking. A lot of them are screaming to me through the TV right now, saying, Tyra, how could she say stuff like this when she's curvy, she's thick? I think your body is sexy, your body is fine. But there are a lot of people in the society that would think 100% the opposite of that. Absolutely, and I'm trying to do something about it. But because of what they think? Um, I think it was before I was, you know, teased a lot. Um, you know, I gained weight after I had my daughter. And, you know, to make a long story short, horrible, you know, uh, not a great marriage. You know, so that is what, you know, I gained weight. And so now I felt like I woke up one day and I was like, you know what, let me do something. Let, let me, you know, eat better, you know, exercise, do all those things to be, make myself better. I need to be an example to my daughter. Yes, but at the same time, there is a such thing as a body type. You have a curvy, beautiful, Absolutely. sexy body type. I will never be, type. you know, a, a um, stick thin. I will never be. And, I and because have of that, and because and of that, people will judge you and say negative things. Absolutely. And is that okay? Everybody does it. And that Everybody makes it okay? Judges. No, no, Everybody no, no, no. judges. You, you're going to tell me that if there was a girl walking by in fishnets and a mini skirt at, let's say, 11 p.m., you know, down Broadway or something, what are you going to think? You're going to think, that's a, that's a hooker. No, maybe that's what you would think. Oh, please. No, Jen, you know what? Just because you think that everybody does something doesn't make it okay. It does not. Oh, everybody it lies. It, okay. it doesn't that's make it okay. Everybody sins. It doesn't make it okay. A lot of men 
cheat. It doesn't make it okay. Absolutely just not. because a lot of people do something. The pattern that I see on this side is, is my heart, is, as much as I'm being strong with you guys, my heart goes out to you because I see pain. I see pain, pain, pain. With you, Nicole, you got your heart broken by a girl that had a Roman beautiful nose. And you said, everybody got a nose like that. I hate you because I have pain. With you, Kyla, you're short and, and sweet and, and petite and so adorable. Like, if I wasn't my height, I'd want to be your height because I think that's special and cute and unique. It's why I'm doing short girls on top model. But you have pain from being teased like that. Mm -hmm. So you're lashing out. Then we've got Angel. Angel, you used to be tall and skinny and awkward. Because of that, you are lashing out at other people. Then we got Marie. Marie used to be super bigger, you say. You lost a lot, a lot of weight, and you got a lot of pain from that. So you're lashing out. You guys are all lashing. And I think we need to check with ourselves before we start lashing out at other people. Because whenever I feel insecure, that's when I gossip. I know when I'm feeling insecure, I'm going, ooh, look at her, and look at this, and look at that, because I ain't feeling like that day. So we need to check ourselves. When we come back, judgment with couples. Men are going to be judging now. It's not just the ladies that do it. I know we do it a lot, but men judge too. And men and women are going to be judging couples. We'll be right back.